Hello guys, today we're on the beach at Nordwijk. We're gonna test the Evo versus the Evo SLS versus the Evo D-Lab. We're lucky enough to get our kites on the three different versions of the Evo. All the versions are 12 meters and we're gonna test it out on the two large click bars and the large thrust bar. We measured the weight of all the kites. All the bags are the same weight, 0.7 uh, kilos. The Evo is uh, 3.5 kilos. The Evo SLS is 3.1 kilos and the Evo D-Lab which is 2.8 kilos. The adjustment points on the different uh, Evo versions. The normal Evo has six adjustment points. The Evo SLS has five adjustment points and the Evo D-Lab has seven adjustment points. So a quick overview on the constructions of the different EVO kites. Uh, the normal EVO has the classic construction uh, on the duotone range with the normal Trinity TX. The EVO SLS has Trinity TX and Penta TX, which is the SLS version. SLS stands for Strong Light Superior. If you compare the EVO SLS uh, in comparison to the EVO D-Lab, you can already see on the pictures and on the videos the minimalistic design of the D-Lab, which means it has a smaller di diameter of the leading edge and less protection on the leading edge as well. We measured the diameter of uh, every leading edge on the uh, 12 meters, which are different to each other. The normal EVO has a diameter of 53.5 centimeters. The EVO SLS has a diameter of 50.5 centimeters. And on top, the EVO D-Lab has a diameter of 47. And because of the thinner diameter of the leading edge, it also means that the kite is way lighter as expected. So you can immediately see the difference on the EVO SLS and the EVO D-Lab in the wingtip. Also the D-Lab has another panel layout in comparison to the EVO SLS and uh, less usage of Dacron. We have all the kites set up on the beach right now and we're gonna fly them back to back to give our best opinion possible. So check it out. First off, we have the EVO. Comparison to other tree strut free ride kites, this kite is in a happy medium in the wind window. It sits yeah, just in the middle, not very far and not very back, but it tends to lean a bit more back sometimes, which gives some, some extra power, especially in high-end high conditions with stronger winds. It's nicer to have a kite which is a bit more in the other side of the window, so you have a, li a little bit more or less pulling on the bar. The kite, in terms of quickness, it's not the fastest kite, of course, because it's a 12 meter as well. For a beginner, it would be perfect because you're not getting punished that fast if you make a mistake or something. If you pull on the wrong side of the bar, for example, you're not immediately going to fly away or something. That's a good thing about a bit easier going kite uh, like the normal EVO. Oh, very, very big difference in terms of steering pressure on the bar. This one is so light. It's still a 12 meter, but in a whole different way. So before I was with the normal EVO and I pulled my bar and I almost flew away. And now I can just steer the kite and I can stand on the same place but if i work the kite i still have the same power but in a lot yeah nicer way so i i really enjoy this the bar pressure is a little bit less in the comparison to the normal evo it's also because it's a sls it stands further up in the wind window which gives a little bit less bar pressure which is very nice especially in overpowered conditions for example with the eight meter i think that that this evo will perform better in uh, higher winds i can imagine that you can jump easier with this kite because it shoots you up more in the air and you can hold your edge longer if i give quick impulses on the bar i can already feel that it's way quicker than the normal evo yeah, I will show a kite loop and uh, I think you can see it for yourself as well. The turning speed of this uh, EVO has less is a lot quicker than the normal EVO and it comes very quick back up to you. So if you're progressing on kite loops, the EVO will be perfect. It climbs very quick and even the 12 impresses me, so it's great. I can already feel the second lift of the kite uh, when I jump on the beach. So you can uh, imagine on the water it will be even more. We had the normal EVO and we had the EVO SLS. The difference was yeah, pretty big and I cannot wait to feel the D-Lab right now. So we're gonna check it out. First impressions, what I immediately feel is that the kite is a lot further in the wind window. So if I have done 12 o'clock, it's nearly getting over you. The feeling in the kite is uh, very responsive. I can feel where the kite stands even when I'm not looking at it. It's also very yeah, calm in the sky. Uh, the wind is not that steady, but uh, you cannot feel it in the kite. 
Also, it doesn't feel like a 12, which is very nice. Um, some people don't enjoy riding a 12 and like to ride smaller sizes. This definitely does not feel like a 12, um, which I find pretty, pretty nice. Because the Evo D-Lip is so light, you can see that it tends to go a bit more to the left, which causes yeah, better performance in high wind conditions and you can hold your edge longer. Let's go! Just came off the water, tested all the three kites. In comparison to the Evo, to the Evo SLS, the Evo is a lot slower and has more uh, steering pressure in comparison to the Evo SLS, which makes the, the normal Evo very easy to handle, also for beginners. Uh, you do not have to navigate it through the air and have, you have to think about where you uh, down loop the kite or not. In terms of quickness and the overall feel of the kite, I would say that the normal Evo 12 meter feels definitely like a 12. The Evo SLS in 12 meter would feel like an 11 meter. The Evo D-Lab would feel like a 10 to me, without sacrificing power or any lift in the kite. What I immediately felt on the Evo D-Lab while riding and kite looping on the beach is that the kite loop accelerates through the loop and gets up really quick, which probably has to do with the lightness of the Alula material and the um, small diameter of the leading edge, which is 47 centimeters. This is something that I did not experience on the Evo SLS, which felt a bit slower. The Evo D-Lab is extremely nice with down looping and riding with one hand or jumping with one hand. For example, when you do a board off, you can steer the kite very easy because it's so light. And also it's extremely stable. So uh, you feel where the kite is in every position in low or high winds. I experienced this on the Evo SLS too, but on the Evo D-Lab, it was way better. So the Alula construction makes sure that you have uh, both high-end and low-end performance. Yeah, you just get more out of your kite uh, with the Alula material. In light wind it does its job, but in highway speed winds it does the job as well. The Evo is for beginners who are just starting their kite journey and who want a kite which is reliable, stable and easy to fly. The Evo SLS for people who like the DNA of the normal Evo but just want that step up to the SLS material. For example, when you're just starting to learn your first kite loops and get that extra height. The Evo D-Lab is perfect for people who want the best materials available on the market as well as the extreme wind range from low to high end. So thank you for watching this video. If there are any questions, don't hesitate, uh, call, mail or come to the shop. And also let us know what you want to see in the next upcoming videos. Like and subscribe. Ciao.